In this tutorial, I will show you how we can put ice on fire. I'm sorry for the pun, let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Thrill here and as you can see this is the final output and to create this effect all you need is this fire image. Now this image is from deviantart.com and if you want to use the same image the download link is in video description so feel free to use it. Now to create this effect first of all we need to create a new document so go to file option and create a new document. Now for width I'm gonna use 1920 and for height 1080 so it's typical HD format and resolution 150 should be enough. So I'm gonna go and hit ok. Now as you can see our background is white and we need to turn it black so all you have to do is press ctrl i and it will turn black and you can also use paint bucket tool normally uh, then double click on the background and unlock it. Now let's type in the text that we need to put on fire so I'm gonna go and select my type tool and the font I'm using is swiss721 blk it's a default photoshop font you don't have to download it so I'm gonna click here and I will type ICE ice now you can't see it because it's really small so click on uh, ice layer and then press ctrl T uh, and then hold down your shift key and drag it from any corner so you can make it bigger without losing its proportion without shift key it will get squishy and stuff so always hold shift key so you don't lose the original proportion and I think it's big enough so I'm just gonna go and confirm it from here. Now to make sure that your font is exactly in the center, uh, all you have to do is just press Ctrl A so you have selection of entire uh, area and make sure you have selected your font. Then select your move tool so you have these options. So select second one and then select the second last one. So now you can be sure that your font is in exact center. Now go to select and go to deselect. to get rid of the selection. Now create a blank layer by clicking on the second last icon and then put this layer one, the blank layer between your black layer and your ice layer, the text layer. Uh, then select your brush tool and select any color that is related to red. Doesn't have to be exact this one, something like this should be enough. Now make your brush really big. I use my bracket keys to make it bigger and smaller to save time. And also go here and make sure that your hardness is 0%. Then go and do a click. Now change its opacity to 20% or 50%. Yeah, that, that's more than enough. Just so that we don't have simple black background. Then go to your eyes layer and it's time to apply some adjustments. And double click on it so you will have your layer style options. So first of all we start with uh, outer glow uh, and for outer glow I'm gonna go and change the color uh, to F00 F0F so it's reddish color so simply just go and hit ok and I will change the size until it's really nice and visible uh, so I think 30% uh, looks good you can have whatever number you like then uh, you go and you select where is it color overlay now in the color overlay, I'm gonna use the color code 974C02. So it is some kind of really dull orange color, doesn't have to be exact like this and just go and hit OK. Then we go and select inner glow. And in the inner glow, change your color to F6FF03. So really bright yellow color, hit OK and increase its size a little bit so you can see it properly uh, like that and then change its blending mode to color dodge so it's really really like gives it that really burning look that we need uh, so this looks really nice and i might go back to my outer glow change the opacity to 100 percent and the same with the inner glow 100 percent so we have really intense look nothing else uh, and also increase the size a little we can see it proper and that looks perfect and go and hit ok so the basic layer adjustment is done now all you have to do is make a copy of it so go and press ctrl j 
and you have a copy now put this copy under your layer 0 this black layer it's no, we are not going to use it it's just for backup so if we screw up something in this one we still have this one to work with okay so this is uh, backup so let's turn this off and let's go back to our text layer now you have to right click and select rasterize layer style so it will turn it into a single layer and make sure all your spellings are right because after this step you cannot change your spellings you have to do it all over again okay so be careful now making sure that i have selected my text layer this one that we rasterized i will go to filter and then i will go and select liquify now in the liquify the default brush size and all the numbers are perfect 70 50 and 100 and this is the first tool that i'm using all you have to do is make a squiggly lines like this nothing else it's not a big deal uh, just a couple of trial and error and you should be good with it okay uh, so go and keep making them and make sure you don't overdo it otherwise it looks really really bad so i'm gonna fast forward this part now So as you can see it looks pretty good now and go and simply hit ok. Now double click on this layer and go and select another what do you call inner glow and this time in the inner glow I'm gonna use some kind of reddish color and the code is EB0404 so it is something uh, really bright red and go and hit ok. And the size uh, should be somewhere around 50-60%. You can't see it, uh, so let me change the blending mode to overlay. Uh, and let's decrease the opacity to somewhere around 40-50%. So now if I turn it on and off, uh, you can make you can see that it gives it that red feeling. And it will also help to stand out text better when we apply the fire. So this looks uh, really good and you can change it anytime you want. So it's completely up to you. So I think uh, yeah, 80-90 is good. Then go and hit OK. So all the adjustment for the text is done and now it's time to add in the fire. So let's go to our fire file here and I'm gonna press Ctrl A uh, to select it, Ctrl C to copy, go back here and then I will press Ctrl V to paste it. Now it's really large file so I'm gonna press Ctrl T uh, and zoom out and as always hold my shift key and make it smaller something like this. Uh, zoom in and let's make it a little bit more smaller uh, like that and confirm it now one thing we have to do is cut out the fire from black background like if I turn all of these things off you can see it has this black background so to get rid of that there is really cool technique that you can use go to your channel option and if you don't have channel you can go to your windows and select channels uh, so go back go to your channels and click on this red channel thumbnail okay now what you have to do is hold down your control key don't release it hold down and click on this thumbnail so now if i zoom in as you can see it made a selection of fire sort of selection then go and again click on your rgb so we have all the channels visible again and as you can see we still have the selection on so now you go back to your layer with your selection on uh, select your make sure you have selected your fire layer and then you press ctrl J So now you might think nothing happened But if I turn this layer to off as you can see it cut out the fire from the black background Using the red channel now this layer too. It's unnecessary So I'm just gonna put it with this backup department under the black file and now let's turn this thing on So as you can see now we have this fire, but it's cut from its background as you can see so now I can move it around however I want. Now let's cover the entire area with it. So I'm gonna make a copy of it uh, by pressing Ctrl J. Uh, I will press Ctrl T and rotate it a little bit so it doesn't look repetitive. Uh, so something like this, yeah, that looks good. And let's put it here. Make sure that you cover the entire text. Go and confirm it. Now for this edges, go and simply select your eraser tool. And make sure that it is really soft 0% hard and then go and remove it from the hard edges like this to make it softer do the same with this layer uh, go and remove it yeah and the same way I'm gonna make another copy of it I'm gonna press ctrl J uh, 
control T to rotate it and like that and put it here exactly like that and then I will also remove this hard edge from here uh, with my eraser tool so as you can see the entire area is covered now hold your control key and select all this three fire layer that we just made copy of and then press control E so it will make a single layer out of all three so it's really easy to manage nothing else now you go and change its blending mode to screen so as you can see now text is visible now here comes one important step so to do that you have to hold down your control key and click on thumbnail of your this text layer the final text layer click on that so it will make a selection of the text layer now the selection is ready and you have to make sure that you have selected your fire layer then you click on this third option that is layer mask and click on it so as you can see now the fire is only visible on the text then what you do is you double click on your mask not on the layer uh, but on the mask so double click on that and you will have this option for feather so increase your feather uh, as much as you can uh, so i think 50% uh, 60% looks good uh, so yeah I think 40-50% is good range for you and close it so as you can see now it looks really good now what if you don't have CS6 and this uh, fade option uh, you simply go to your filter option uh, go to blur and apply Gaussian blur on your layer mask and it will do the exact same thing after that you make another copy of this fire by pressing ctrl J and this time you change its blending mode to overlay so it is a bit more punchier uh, and it gives it really really good contrast uh, I'm gonna go and change its opacity to 50% so it's not kind of an overkill then uh, go and create another blank layer by clicking on the second last icon uh, you go and select your brush tool like this and in the color select any color that is related to dull yellow so I think this is really good uh, hit ok and then you make your brush a little bit smaller and do kind of a clicks like this on a new layer ok make sure that it is a new layer never forget that step and then go and change its blending mode to color dodge now it is hideous I know so what you do is go and make the opacity somewhere around 20-30% so if I turn it on and off as you can see it gives it that really nice glow that looks good now here comes the final step and for that go and create a new adjustment layer and select curves now in the curves click on this bottom part so you lock in your shadows and then go and increase your highlights from here and then go and also increase this portion from here too so you can see what kind of output you are getting nothing else uh, so a little bit of brightness from here a little bit of brightness from there uh, yeah that looks good uh, let's close it and now if we turn it on and off as you can see it looks really good and you can also adjust this background red uh, to make it more impactful so I'm gonna make it slightly bigger uh, like that and there's also one thing you can do you can go to your layer mask and as you can see when you paint in layer mask with black color it will remove things right so I'm gonna go and remove some of these things in between the letters so it gives it that kind of a depth and that looks good uh, a little bit here so as you can see uh, now it looks even better so that's it and this is the final output that we have created I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions which you will probably have because it's little complicated method uh, so if you have any questions feel free to ask me in comment section below and if you want to check out more of my tutorials you can click on any of these boxes and you can also subscribe to my channel so every time I upload a new video you will get the update plus clicking on that subscribe button will take you to my youtube channel where I have more than 90 free photoshop tutorials just waiting for you so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop